If I can open this and it's gonna sound amazing, it's gonna be the best day of my life. Okay, now we can start the tutorial. <laughs> Hello there, this is Timil, and today I really wanted to go over Clip Studio Paint iPad version, as you can see, simple mode. And simple mode is a really awesome and let me let me give you a sales pitch let me explain why it's so cool so we have clip studio paint on ipad which is already incredible but here's the thing there's so many ui elements there's gonna be 20 buttons over here there's gonna be all this stuff over here all of these panels you know all of that stuff is awesome when i need it but when i don't need it i feel kind of overwhelmed especially if you're a beginner uh, this is just too much and so that is why there's a simple mode. And simple mode is really awesome. So if you click here, there's gonna be a little button and you can go switch to simple mode. Or if you want, you can go into here, the Clip Studio Paint logo, go to simple mode and boom. Without any loading, without any kind of lag, we have ourselves simple mode. So there's all of the buttons are gone. So now we have size. For the brush and it's gonna be right here right here is gonna be the opacity for the brush uh, on the right side we can see we have our layers and if you swipe like this it's gonna open and close we have all of these tools right here I'm gonna explain a little bit of all the stuff in here when I uh, get to it but probably the most important is obviously we want to go back to the regular mode you're gonna go into here and go to switch to studio mode and just like this very seamlessly we can go back between the two and I have tested this for a while now and I can tell you that it does not affect the time-lapse thankfully so all the time-lapse stuff saves pretty much exactly the same um, doesn't matter if you switch between the two so I'm really happy about that so don't worry about getting like a weird kind of time-lapse stuff happening uh, you can do both uh, you can also see that we have flip horizontal view which is awesome that the button is here <laughs> and obviously the airplane has to go right now <laughs> okay I'll, I'll, I'll keep going um, hopefully you can still hear me flip horizontal you can see it flips exactly you just click again and flips back an awesome part of this is we have preferences I pretty much leave everything as is um, except two things sometimes I turn off the brush cursor um, so we have hide brush shape or brush circle depends on what kind of brush you're using sometimes it's useful to know how the brush shape looks like most of the time I have it off uh, also draw with finger is on by default I don't like it I don't draw with my fingers I draw with my pen um, and all of these are gonna be the uh, gestures so undo with two fingers redo with three you can read this on your own honestly this is pretty standard stuff that we already have with uh, clip to paint that is already in here so we can swipe over here and if you want to click off this video I highly suggest just for this one function I'll show you so we have this new layer right and we can draw with it let me get a different pen so we have ourselves this layer and we have another layer and we want to mix this up so we have two layers and I want to smush them together which is pretty normal standard stuff but if you click here you can see we have blending mode name uh, we have the opacity and uh, excuse me for like a little bit of a lag usually the performance is pretty much the same as usual clip studio paint it's just I have a billion layers in here so I need to smush it down later but you don't see duplicate or you don't see uh, merge below and that's because you don't see it so I was so confused for quite some time I was really upset about it because I thought that's just you know oh it's missing because it's simple mode but no if you click here if you just scroll 
It's right below it. I didn't know this. I thought that is just missing because it's missing. So there's no scrolly thing over here. So I, I, I thought that it just doesn't exist. But if you just scroll, you can see, you can see merge with layer below. And just like this, we have ourselves the merged layer and we have also a bunch of other tools that we can use. Obviously we hold uh, right here with plus, we can do a raster layer or a folder or add from images, take a photo, you know, all that standard stuff. We have ourselves hide or unhide, delete, and all of these buttons right here. You can see that we can do opacity like real quick if you don't want to double click on it. Uh, it's available when it, the layer panel is more full. And I enjoy this part as well because most of the functions are missing but like in a good way so we only get like lines we have a little bit of liquify so liquify is pretty nice when it's working and we have the fill and sometimes if you double tap so we can tap on the fill again you can see that there's extra functions in here so close gap tolerance area scaling you know all this stuff you can also access it through this button um, so it's really nice that we have all these settings that are coming with Cup Studio Paint, but it's just a little hidden. And with selection, obviously we have all of these, you know, add to selection, remove from selection. We have different types of selection, so rectangle, circle, uh, obviously this is move, this is cut out. Uh, we also have transform, so if we click transform, it goes into the menu of transform. And you can see that we have pretty standard stuff. Free transform um, it lets us do this, like using our square um, handles to move things around. We have mesh transform that will let us do look, uh, liquify kind of vibe, but not really. We obviously have flip, flip, triple trip. Rotate, rotate, bow, bow, bow. We have all of this stuff that is pretty much standard in Clip Studio Paint, but it's just a little bit more um, condensed and it's a little different. Uh, this little button right here, it's gonna save our progress. So we don't wanna lose any of our progress when we're working on stuff. We have all these brushes. So we can click here again, reset settings, stabilization, just very, very uh, bare bone for our brushes. Not too much customization, but like in a good way. Um, obviously we have colors. We have all of this color wheel, pretty standard stuff, color slider for uh, RGB or HSV. And my favorite one is obviously transparency. If you don't know what transparency is, is when you have no color, which means you can just erase with the brush that you are using, uh, which makes it really, handy when you want to use a textured brush as an eraser so for example charcoal that was really really nice effect and we have ourselves like standard brushes in here uh, I really enjoy using them but sometimes we want to add more so in here you can see that we can import from studio mode and there's gonna be brushes in here like pencil or mechanical pencil all this good stuff and obviously there's the text but it's not importable or for example fill um, fill is importable so some of these are not going to be compatible with the simple modes as you can see because it's a little bit more complicated and um, the good thing is that switching between the simple mode and uh, regular studio mode is obviously pretty simple and so if you don't know how to import brushes into here I will show you this right now you can click the little button right there and obviously we can go into find brushes and more so once we are signed in we can obviously pick any brush so for example let's just do this one uh looks like a cute little brush i really <laughs> looks in looks enjoyable so let's just do download and right here you can see open link in external app you can just say yes and in here we can go into manage materials and download it should be downloading in here so you can see it's downloading the brush if you are confused i just want to do step by step so we have this and this is me from previous um i was downloading this for testing and you can obviously go into studio mode you can go into studio mode and in here we have brushes so this is our brush stuff 
And once we have this, it's very simple to import a brush. There's gonna be a little tiny button right here. You can just click it. And in here we can see that this is going to be our downloaded materials. So I can just add to palette and I can actually drag this into a separate category because I want to have it in a separate thing. Um, you can obviously pick a different color. So you can see that now we have ourselves a simple marker brush. And let's check out if we have it in our studio mode or simple mode. So we can see that if you go in here, boom, it's right here already. So you don't have to worry about it being confused or lost because it will be accessible through that as well. And it actually is a nice brush. I enjoy it. <laughs> That's a cool brush. It feels like a real marker, but yeah, I really enjoyed using this. Obviously in here in layers, you can see we have different uh, ways we can add the layers so screen or color dodge or overlay you know all that good stuff and you can just delete it if you don't need it uh, some of the things are missing so I was just saying so hue saturation it's not workable but you can just go into switch studio mode you have layers and for example I can do layer new correction hue saturation and on top of this, we will have our hue saturation. And once, once it's in here, you can just tweak it and then click here again. And we are back into our normal mode. It's that simple. Um, also last thing, I don't know if I showed this, but you can switch between obviously the last tool you used. So for example, we can make a new layer in here and then you can just create simple hashtags or cross hatching or whatever you want to call it. And if you double click on your pen, you can see that it's switched to an eraser. And just like this, now we have ourselves very simple pattern. And the last thing I want to show you is this little button. In here, you can see there are many materials that are part of Clip Studio Paint. You can have downloads or color patterns, and you can just drop it in, and it will be part of your canvas. So you can create Clip Studio Paint 3D models. So if you drop this, you can click here, and it will drop it on canvas. Um, I do believe that I haven't found a way to move the joints like at all. Uh, you can also only move the camera or if you click here, you can change the light. But obviously there's apply pose material. So if you have uh, different poses saved up, you don't really have to worry about this. And if it doesn't work for you, you can obviously go back into studio mode for more control. If you want to move around uh, all the joints and all the parts of the image so you don't have to really worry about that part so yeah i really enjoy clip studio paint simple mode and honestly i think it's a really nice transition into a more simplified ui um, that you don't really have to worry about too much and <laughs> i just broke this guy's neck um, yeah, I just, I really like it. And in a way it's nice because you still have the access to the main app with all the features, but at the same time, you don't have to use it all the time. If you just want to do a quick sketch outside or whatever it might be. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I'll try to answer it. There's also an article about this in the description. So yeah. I've been I've been out for so long, um, a little rusty with my videos, but uh, thank you for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the artwork that I made for this tutorial, and uh, yeah, have a a wonderful week.